Hello and welcome. So this is like an extras video um, to my Scream 6 spoiler review. Uh, this is like a video compiling all the thoughts I had that I didn't get out in the first video. I've got my notes here. Um, there's still going to be a lot more that I um, I want to delve into the film with and uh, ruminate on, but I've only seen it once. Um, but here goes it. Uh, bit of a bit of a bit of a mouthful. This video. Um, so the killer's motive. Um, the killer's motive to be in the family this time. Never, never seen like a family of revengeful, or vengeful, you know, uh, ghost faces. Um, so that was cool. And what I liked about it is, um, aside from the fact that if you saw it coming from a mile off, um, I like the fact that it linked to the new cast. It linked to you know the Carpenter sisters. Uh, yeah. So it linked to the new cast. It didn't link to legacy characters, which I don't want it to. Um, I think this franchise can survive and thrive without the legacy characters or any links. Um, so I'm happy that it, it it bases itself on the new cast. Um, yeah, the 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 father of the trio of killers. Um, the father who who funds you know Richie's uh, cultish. Uh, collectibles um shrine um i didn't he's not my favorite not my favorite um sort of like i i didn't mind him as a detective um but then i didn't i just didn't feel any love or excitement for him when he became when he revealed himself to be a killer um yeah he's not up there for me um the one i liked the most was the daughter i really liked her i think she put on a really great performance because the duality of her just being like a normal like uni student compared to her being like a bit more um, unhinged. That was really cool. Um, she did a great job. Um, none of them felt deranged though, which I think is the point, but my reference is for the killers to go a bit more like do lally once they reveal themselves, you know, their true nature. But no, they're not, um, they're not um, deranged. They're vengeful, aren't they? So yeah, but it's just my preference. Um, Yeah, the ladder. My guy with the ladder. The the the, the cute guy from across the block. Um, don't remember his name. Uh, I they referenced cute guy many times, so I'm just gonna go with that for a while. Um, dude had a ladder in his apartment. Um, I know it's like a you know a, a plot device. Um, but yeah, he could have been for whatever reason. He had a ladder there, and he came through for him. So um, yeah, that was really funny. Um, it quickly became a really tense scene though because that scene like started way way before that like with you know the main cast you know getting together because they're all gonna like hang out they're all gonna like sleep under one roof to protect each other and whatnot which is um which you know soon descends into madness because of the fact that the girl was there all along and she was a killer so she allowed her I think allowed her she started, I don't know, her, her brother must have start, got in and started killing everyone um, and then like framed her, like disguised her body as dead body. Um, but like the fact that like, you know, she hid the knives. So like when Samantha went to find the knives, there's none there. Like that's her sort of like her safety. Um, you know, she would have felt more safe and felt that she could ward off the attacker with the knives. And without those, well, she picked up the whole block, didn't she, and threw it at their head. Um, but that was cool that there was no defense for them. Um, and then when Mindy got stabbed in the arm, again, like I said it in my previous review of the film, Mindy is one of my favourite actors, um, you know, the, the actor who portrays her, um, uh, just really great, like the way she was, you know, acting stabbed, acting her is, 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 is hard, you know, um, and then getting, keep, maintaining that, 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 that wound, um whilst you know acting and having those whippy mark remarks that she makes yeah and like being in that struggle where like her girlfriend is about to be um her girlfriend got really mortally wounded and um i thought she wasn't even going to make it on the ladder but it was good that she did because then she got chopped off the ladder uh, which was really great but yeah just that whole sequence was really good um yeah so um gail 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 played by courtney cox and um and Sydney, played by um, Nev Campbell. Um, Nev Campbell is, of course, not in the film. Um, I guess I'm just going to speculate that, like, perhaps the original script was that um, uh, Sydney would have returned once Courtney Cox was killed. Maybe the original idea was Courtney, 
you know, Gail Webbers would be killed in her apartment, and that would obviously spark her return. Um, it did not happen, but that's just a speculation. Um, yeah, I mean, back to Mindy. Mindy was like very a lot of the cast in this film. In this film, was like very accusatory. The the, the dialogue, the script called for them to be a bit more. I don't know. It most of it felt organic, but it, it threw me off a bit because it was very accusatory. And I know that that's like become a point in like a meta slasher film where the the characters are very aware of like the rules of the game. You know how to survive more. Not even the rules keep keep getting flipped, which is cool. Um, and Mindy realizes that. That's nice. You know, she 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 says I messed up one too many times when she was um caught lacking on the train. Um, and like there needs to be a bit more nerd theory. Um, we had like that one one great scene. Um, because in twenty twenty two it was a really good scene with um you know in the in the house. Um, but here we just got them in a park. Um, and it felt really forced. It felt like the writers, the filmmakers knew that they had to put not knew but like they really wanted to put that in there because they wanted to like please the fans and whatnot and speak about being meta, have a meta um scene in there, and it just felt really forced and contrived. And um, they could have had more nerd theory and going on. Um, yeah, with, without the accusatoriness of it. Yeah, and, and obviously Mindy's girlfriend. She was a pretty cool character. Um, I think in both of these films now, they're pretty, they're, they're, they're choosing really good um, cast. Um, yeah, so Chad, Chad, Mindy's brother. Like I said in the previous video, I really like Chad. I really like the brother and sister duo. Great actors and great characters. Um, Chad's a really cool guy, man, because like he was back in um, before we knew that he wanted to. Um, he was perhaps like you know smitten by um, terror. He 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 was called in to back her up in 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 that moment of uh, of, of, of of foolishness by terror in the in, at the beginning at the party. She was gonna go off with a mysterious guy, um, or oh, stranger, should I say? Um, and you know. <clears throat> He approached it in just a way that in a in a stand up kind of way, you know, defending his friends. I really like um his character development. The the score of the film not memorable. I can't really remember it. I mean, I've watched it once, but a great score you would remember. You take that memory away with you and that feeling. Red right hand, the song, <clears throat> the iconic song was um as far as I can remember, it wasn't used in a very iconic way. Um, I think it was used twice, quite subtly. Um. Yes. Oh, and I loved how the killers, we, we, we've never also seen how, we've never like seen a killer reveal so early. Usually that's the big thing with Scream at the end, it's revealed and it's, it's less about like the who done it and it's more about like why they're doing it. Um, but I like how we got that introduction to these two, well, it's mainly the one guy who wants to, um, who wants to kill the Samantha for the Carpenter sisters. Um, but then obviously one of the family members who are the true ghost face killers kills them <clears throat> before the um the title card uh sequence, which I thought was really cool. Again, stuff that we haven't seen before and, and it works. Yeah, the film was paced really well. Um, although like I'm I i was not thrilled or necessarily convinced with like all the beats of like the plot points. Um I will will be watching it again so I can see if I feel that same way again. <clears throat> yeah, and that's all. Um, that's all the extra bits that I forgot to say in my first video. Thank you very much.